morning, good morning everyone. We are fixing to leave the quick trip truck stop up here in Toma, Wisconsin. Looks like a gorgeous day out there today. Oh yeah, nice and sunny. So let's get out of here. Just put her in gear. Make some miles, make some money. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what kind of a day we will have today. I'm really hoping that it's going to be a nice day today. Although, if it goes according to a truck or jukebox, the weather forecast man said yesterday we're supposed to have some rain in Indiana. It's not like I have to believe that, right? I don't know. <laughs> ah, yeah. Turn left we like to joke around to the left a little bit. Get on to 94 Eastbone. Yeah, so let's get down the road and thank you guys for joining me today. And let's see what we can come up with today. Here we go, guys. We are in Chicago area. To the left on I 294 XP. All right. We are on 294. Yeah, looks like traffic is pretty light today. We're able to cruise right through here today. I'm not sure if I'll go uh, I-65 south up to US-30 or if I'll go uh, I-80 up to uh, 49 and take that across over to US-30. All right, CB radio has to go off. I very rarely do I have my CB radio on anymore these days, but I must have turned it on there earlier and forgot to turn it off. <laughs> oh, well. In a quarter mile, keep to the left on I-294 XB. Yep, and here we got uh, the toll highway, and we got an easy pass, which is an electronic uh, the wise that picks up Continue a single road for six miles takes care of the bill. Yeah, our company provides us with it, so they pay for it, so that's good. Here it is. Yeah, it's cloudy a little bit earlier, it was nice and sunny, but now it's uh, turning into a little bit of a cloudy day. Like Trucker Jukebox said, I was going to get rain today, and she might be right. He might be right. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. I think I'm going to stop here pretty soon, though, and get me something to eat. I haven't eaten anything today, so I'm starting to get hungry. Here we are in Gary, Indiana, right here to the right. It used to be a Fly and Jay. Or a pilot or something like that. You have arrived at your destination no, on the left allowed. side. Petro Gary number 369. I'm at, uh, mile marker 9. And it looks like we get the turn light there. It's very almost not visible there, but <laughs> I managed to see it. And this apparently is a brand new uh, Petro truck stop up here, according to what Jukebox, I believe, said. And I'm going to go in here and check it out. See what the. Uh, they all got in here this looks like a fairly big truck stop well, that's nice I never been in here before so we'll go see if we find ourselves a spot and it looks like they give each line a lot of room so that's good oh yeah there's lots of room in here today oh man that's good to know because sometimes I come into this area and there ain't that much parking up here so yeah, it's good to know that we get lots of parking. I think I'm just gonna go make a U-turn and probably come in here somewhere. 
have to do a good walking, but that's all right. Finally, we have a nice big size truck stop up here in this area, so. Anyways, we'll go do that, and then uh, we'll have ourselves a good bite to eat. So we'll be right back. Here we go, guys. We are just on 75. I-75. Gonna go south here for a little bit and then go on to Ohio 117 and take that over to East Liberty. We are about 59 miles away. And this is the truck stop I would like to come back to the Flying J up here. Hopefully there will be room tonight once I get back here. And then we'll go from there to see where it will take us. But now we got about an hour to go to our delivery place. For 10 miles. And I already called them up earlier and they said, yep, as long as I get there before 10 o'clock tonight, I can drop my trailer there and pick up my empty and I can get out of there. So hopefully that will be the case once I get there. And now we'll take care of business. I'll be really happy if I can do that tonight. Alrighty guys, we just finished dropping our trailer and uh, yeah, they had an empty for us like they said earlier that they was going to have and here we are. Yes sir, we got out of here before it's dark and now we're just going to put the hammer down back towards the truck In stop. A mile, turn left on Stokes Road. Keeping my fingers crossed that they'll have a parking spot there at the Flying J. Got about an hour worth of driving so should be there on the uh, 8 o'clock central time, should be 9 o'clock eastern time. Yeah, I think I should be able to uh, Turn left on Stokes Road. squeeze in somewhere. I sure hope so, because I can't go further than that. So, <laughs> Anyways, let's get down over there and see what kind of luck we will have. Well guys, we are finished for today. We're sitting at the Flying J. I don't know how much of it you can actually see, but anyways, I got the front row. I got lucky today, oh yeah! I pulled in here and this spot was open so I pulled it right in here. And I think the back was all full already, I think the, <laughs> there was not that many places open already when, even when I pulled in so... I got pretty lucky I have to say today. In general, not just with this parking spot. Even with me delivering my, relo my, my load and uh, getting my uh, trailer empty trailer and I'm on my way to my reload well at least I uh, drove another hour from where I delivered back towards my reload so I don't really have to hurry up no I uh, the, the the pickup uh, appointment there is for four, 1430 I believe so 230 in the afternoon so I don't really have to hurry up but uh, hey finished putting one video together for you guys and uh, now it's just rendering and I'm just gonna wait till it's done and then I'm gonna upload it to YouTube yes siree anyways that's about all I got for today I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and uh, we will see you again on the next one hopefully that will be tomorrow so thanks for watching and have a good one Put this behind me, that day is gonna come